So you're looking to get a job as an SEO. If you don't mind me saying, great choice. As I'm sure you're aware, there's been a huge global shift into the digital world. Even more so with a pandemic pushing people online. People are more connected to the web than ever before, which opens up a lot of opportunities that just keep on growing. According to BusinessWire, the global market for SEO services is expected to grow by 19.6% to reach $83.7 billion in 2025. Perfect news for SEO professionals. The market is perfect to go out there and start a brilliant career. Here's a few of our top tips to help you get that job you've always wanted. So, let's go. So, right, so first things first is understanding the job market. There are many types of SEO jobs out there and some you'll be more suited to than others, just like with any career. And these are probably the ones you'll come across the most. SEO Analyst Analysts are one of the most important SEO roles. They tend to be the core of the SEO team. They carry out keyword research to help optimize web content and track metrics such as organic traffic, conversion rates, and time spent on pages using platforms such as Google Analytics. They monitor and report on search trends and SEO performance, analyze websites and social media pages to make recommendations for improvement, perform competitor analysis to identify content gaps, and areas for improvement in website design, and more. SEM Specialist Strategist Search Engine Marketing, or SEM for short, the specialists or strategists oversee paid search campaigns and other pay-per-click PPC initiatives. This is a little different to SEO itself, but the two do work closely together and they can be somewhat interchangeable. They tend to work with SEO analysts and general marketing teams to help drive more traffic. SEO Account Manager Account managers are commonly found in agency settings. They usually oversee and manage the SEO strategy and operations for one or several clients. They may or may not do much of the technical or hands-on work, but this will all depend on the agency. They usually provide customer service and liaise between the client and the technical team. Content Creator Content is still king. People need to create it. This role can range from standard text-based copywriter to a full video production and more. A good understanding of keywords and how the search engines work is vital so that you're creating optimized content ready to rank. Tone, style, and understandability are also important, and they will be prioritized by the best of the content creators. Link Builder. Link builders usually focus on building and maintaining backlinks. The idea is that this will help build the authority of the site and can also increase traffic to a page. They develop partnerships using email outreach, network on social media, posting on forums, and other creative ways to build relationships and to ultimately get that link. SEO Consultant Like in many other industries, consultants work as subject matter experts, usually as individual contractors, but sometimes for agencies. SEO consultants provide expert advice and guidance for organizations looking to optimize their search engine rankings. Consultants will take on a lot of responsibility. From simple keyword research to full strategic planning, it can be the hardest but also the most rewarding type of SEO role. So that's a short list of the sort of jobs that you may find out there when looking. There are more out there, but we're going to leave it at that for now and move on to what to do next. Next, if I have to say it, you're going to need to make sure you have a good knowledge base. This is going to be vital for any SEO role and or digital marketing role. You can, of course, try to learn on the job if you're that type of person, but the difficult thing will be to get that first job. So make sure at least you have the foundations of SEO knowledge that are up to date. The SEO landscape is always changing. And so making sure that your knowledge is up to date is vital. So a good example of this would be to read over any recent changes to Google's algorithm. Become familiar with some of the latest technologies and tools that are available. Read blogs and watch YouTube videos like this one. We have a couple of videos on SEMrush, the SEO software covering some simple keyword research and competitor analysis. And they would be a great place to start if you're looking to learn or even refresh some of your knowledge on the tools. 
Google also does online a free course on digital marketing, and there are also Google Career Certificates that offer a relatively low-cost way to earn the equivalent of a degree in a fraction of the time. And of course, if you've watched any of our other videos, then you'll know that we are big advocates of starting side projects and learning the manual way. We both learn everything that we know from a need to build websites that rank. We have a video for one of our most successful side projects that we managed to sell and make over $150,000 from just over the course of two years. Be sure to watch that one as well. For doing it this way forces you to learn and be thorough. So let me tell you a little story here. For example, Jo had a mentor at one point. She was a digital marketing manager at the leading personal injury company in the UK. She was so surprised and impressed that Jo had managed to build out a website that had several big keywords in the first position on Google, that she was confident that Jo could have completely switched careers there and then and started an SEO career. And that was just from having done it from a personal side project. So building upon that point, having personal side projects is a great example to show off in an interview or to put on your CV. People love to see candidates showing initiative, being proactive and doing the same kind of work outside of the work they actually have to do. This also builds nicely into another point that we think is very very important. Building your own online brand and networking. Reach out to others, engage in the conversations, engage in communities like this one that we are building. So if you do have any examples of the work you've done and are active on the social media and the extended community, you'll not only stand out as a candidate, but you'll have plenty of opportunities to impress in the interview. But before the interview, you need to know what you're applying to. It is really worthwhile to spend the time to get to know the market. What are companies looking for? How can your skills fit that role? Do you need to spend a bit more time learning before you start applying? Probably not. Then find the companies that you're actually interested in. Learn about them and structure your CV to fit the role and the company that you're thinking of applying to. Make sure to utilize places such as LinkedIn. Take the initiative, reach out to people, be proactive, be creative and be everything that a good SEO would be on the job. Show the recruiters who you are. Don't just tell them like everyone else will. So this brings us to the interviews themselves. Now, you will most likely be asked some technical questions, especially if you're going for more technical roles. So always be ready and prepared with some answers for the standard questions. There are lots of examples online, and we may even in the future make a video of what some of these could be. But make sure you're ready for the whole range of answers for the questions that they may ask you. Having lots of experience with side projects and other learnings can help you feel comfortable enough to steer the answers towards your experiences. What has worked well for us in the past is to come up with stories. What we mean here is to have five or more examples that you can comfortably talk about that cover different skill sets. Maybe you passed a Google certificate with a high mark that you did off your own back. This can show that you are proactive, can work well individually, whilst also showing you have good technical skills. Maybe you organized a giveaway for one of your side projects or a friend's social media page. This shows you can be creative with problem solving, have good communication skills, and can see projects through to the end. Create some stories around these types of events that you can comfortably talk about to help you promote yourself. And that's everything for today. I hope this has helped you get an understanding of what it takes to get an SEO job. So depending on your experience and what stage you are at in the process will depend upon how you approach this. But please feel free to reach out to us either in the comments below or on one of our social media pages and we'll try to help steer you in the right direction. But for now, thanks for watching. See you next time. SEM specialist, strategist, 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 <sighs> strategist. Ah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>